Hello, it's me Roland from Bilingual Analytics. Today, I'm going to share with you some advanced alignment methods that also include report design ideas and background images. It is going to be a follow-up video to how to align visuals in Power BI part one. If you haven't already checked out the first part, be sure to watch it after this so you can refresh your memory about basic alignment options as well. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe I post weekly videos about Power BI, data visualization, and some best practices that you can follow to create a great experience for your report consumers. But today's tutorial is all about you, Power BI report creators. More importantly, how to speed up the visual alignment process and how to help your team of report creators with some background options. Yes, I'm going to talk about report backgrounds as I found them to be the perfect way to balance my visual elements on report pages. Think about them as Excel, PowerPoint, or even Word templates. With a single click, you can use a nicely formatted template, or if you are more adventurous, you can find you in a template to your likings. And why background? Because that way Power BI only need to render a single image rather than multiple shapes, logos, and so on. So we can easily increase report performance. As I'm going to talk about the visual topic, there is no need to see me talking without showing some cool stuff. So let's jump straight into this. Here we have a plain background with an image of a ruler on the top and the side just to help with the alignment. <laughs> nah, just kidding. This would not be any more useful than the built-in grid line options covered in part one of the visual alignment or it would even be more difficult to use. But if this is something that tickles your fancy, just do it. You can add the picture like this to your background, set up the report page with visual elements, and then remove the background. A plain white background can provide a clean and elegant look. To be honest, this would be too plain to my taste. So let's skip to the next option. We can spice things up a little to include shapes in our background and maybe a single color as background color. These boxes are going to help us to place visual elements onto our canvas in a perfect alignment. I added red dotted lines here so it's easier to see that these elements are already aligned. We can limit the number of elements we want to add or use and even play with the sizing meaning that if we believe one of the data visualization is more important than the rest of the elements, we can increase the size of that box. Something like this. Just by playing a bit with the placement of these boxes on the background, we can manage to achieve a different storytelling method. Because don't forget, we, report creators, are actually storytellers. We create reports to help our users to understand data and to be able to connect the dots. But what options do we have if we plan to create a company-wide approved list of elements or backgrounds that anyone can use? Something similar to what we have in Word, in Excel, and in PowerPoint. We can create background templates with more advanced design elements. An image that not only reflects the company itself, but also creates an aesthetically pleasing report, making it easier for our report users to find those crucial insights. These are some of the background images that I prepared for this tutorial. If you look closely, you will find Bilingual Analytics logo at the top left corner, a Power BI icon at the bottom left corner, along with a black bar for report page title. One more element is common for all of these, and that is the background color or pattern. All these backgrounds can be used to tell a different data story. Let's say that you want your report consumers to focus on a single visual you could use the hero setup. One main visual element to rule them all and to ensure that it is easy to focus on. Little distraction means that your users will be able to find critical insights quicker. Do you want to compare two different set of data? Let's use the comparison setup. Here, we only have two main visual elements and report users will be able to see differences in a blink of an eye. And if you plan to add more details, let's use the details setup. Here you can place as many as six visual elements. 
This will allow report consumers to get heaps of information and provide some flexibility in the story you could tell. To be honest, I wouldn't add more than six visual elements to a report page, as it could be a bit difficult to understand. If you want to learn a bit more about this, check out my video on Power BI Report Design 101. But back to our topic of the day. So now we know that these backgrounds or templates can help report users to understand data quicker and better. But do not underestimate the impact they could have on your report creators. If a company has some pre-approved Power BI backgrounds, report creators no longer need to think about some design aspects of the report. Believe me, it can significantly increase report creation turnaround time. And if a center of excellence team provides training on which background element is useful and should be used for an operational report or for a financial report or which one could be used for an HR report, report creators will be able to build reports on their own. That way the company can achieve that self-serve business intelligence solution. All of it sounds great, right? But how do we create these backgrounds? Because let's be honest, most of the report creators are not graphic designers. And neither am I. Whether it's my day job or preparing these videos for bilingual analytics, I usually use some sort of an image editor. Based on the desired outcome, it can vary, but can be as simple as Microsoft Paint, a bit more complex as PowerPoint, or as complex as GIMP, a free, open source image editor. Today, I would like to show you how to use PowerPoint as this is a solution that I have learned from Alice Drummond from Discover EI during a Power BI user group meetup. She is doing some amazing stuff with maps in Power BI and then when I reached out to her, she also mentioned Chris Hamlin's website where you can find some useful background ideas. Make sure to check out the links in the video description below so you can connect with her. So let's go back to PowerPoint. I know, it may not be the first Power App that comes to your mind, but believe me, it could help us Power BI users a lot. Chances are that if you have Power BI, you would have PowerPoint as well. So technically, it's a free tool, which is always great. We all love freebies. And by default, we get access to a wide variety of options and visual elements that we can use in PowerPoint. Don't be afraid to test as much as you can. We can start from adjusting background color to our heart content, to adding elements to house our visuals later down the track in Power BI. And if you really want to take it to the next level, you can even add some company approved materials, such as logos, images, and stuff like that. And this is exactly what I have done here. I used Bilingual Analytics logo, Power BI icon, and standard shapes to house the report page title, and of course a background image. On the hero setup, once I added the main box that I plan to use as a backdrop to my visual, I could utilize PowerPoint's visual guide or those red dotted lines or even grid lines and the ruler so we can easily align those other shapes as well. Based on my experience, PowerPoint's visual guide is a bit more advanced as it also provides information about the distribution with those red arrows. Replicating this method, I was able to create all these backgrounds in PowerPoint. And how do I export them? Easy, just click on File, Save As, select the folder, and change the type to either JPEG or PNG. And it's as easy as 123 to import to Power BI. I love it. Wow, I know, it was a lot. Believe me, when I was planning a tutorial on visual alignment, 
I had no idea that I could talk that much about this topic. But it turns out to be a topic that is not as straightforward as one might think. Therefore, I needed to split the raw video into two parts. Some of you may not think that having a neatly aligned report page could have any impact on report consumers, but try giving your users a report where the visual elements are all over the place. You will see usage not picking up, users leaving the report quickly, and not utilizing data properly. And this is against the whole reason why we create a report. Tell me what you think about these backgrounds in the comment section below. Have you ever used any of these tools to perfect your alignment? Or do you have a company-wide approved schema that you can utilize? If not, maybe it is your time to show off your skills and share the love with others. And make sure that you always try to achieve a report page that is perfectly balanced as all things should be. Thanks for tuning in today. I hope that you enjoyed this video and you learned something new today. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for more to come. See ya!